Dante, but let's go. Oh. Hey, so we're on for poker tonight then? That's why you left those beers at the front door? Ah, uh, no, not me. Sally's coming, remember? Oh. Ah, uh, must have been Jodie then. She owes me a few. A bit pathetic looking, aren't they? Maybe I should go over to Kalani and nick some of their roses. Tess, the idea isn't to impress your husband's ex-girlfriends, it's to get rid of them. No, Sally's just passing through. Well, I could always barge in, act like there's an emergency, rescue you. You know, it is possible to be friends with an ex. Your old cubby house is coming up a treat. Yeah, once I find all the bits that went missing between here and Kalani. You sure? Looks like it's all here to me. Tess, I checked. It's not. Well, there's no rush because Charlotte's not coming for another week. Uh, you don't think I can put a simple cubby house together, huh? No, I think it's cute the way you get cross with lumps of wood. Well, it's not just for Charlotte. It's for her baby cousin, too. Ah, not you, sweetie. I reckon there'll be two little girls playing tea parties in here before you know it. So you want a daughter? I don't know. What about you? Mmm, boy, it'd be good. Because you already have Charlotte. No, because I'd have two of you. Mm. Oh, Sally's here already. You sure you don't mind her dropping in? Why would I? I always liked her. She just wasn't right for you. That's all. Hi there. Good to see you again, Sal. How was the trip? I'd forgotten how long it takes. Come in, you must be tired. Oh, wow. Congratulations. Yeah. Nick, I tried to write. I tried calling. This is really difficult, I know. Hey, hey. How's the city? Stuff to do in the city. Still doing some consultancy work for the farmers council. Is that what you call the consultancy work? I was in the city. I saw Sally. I thought I'd worked out what I was going to say. There's no easy way to say this. That's why I had to see you. The baby's yours, Nick. It'll take some time. I'm sorry. I've been meaning to come. I just didn't know when. Well, there must be some mistake. Are you sure? There's been no one else. But you haven't seen Nick for what? Eight months. Hey, the mob and little regret have pushed through the fence again. They're all over the place. Not now, Stevie. No, they really have. Yeah, I'm sure you can manage without me. Hey, Stevie. Sally, hi. Jodie, good to see you. You're having a baby? Who's the lucky guy? Ah, oh, we can handle it. Come on, Jade, let's go. Ah, uh, look, Sally, why don't you go um, grab a seat? I'll go make some coffee. Nick, give us a hand. Mm. Well, you can't just take her word for it, can you? OK, what can I do? Do I ask her for a DNA test? Well, yeah, that'd be a start. Why would she lie? Lots of reasons. No, no, Sally's not like that. Nick, please don't just accept this. There's a chance I might have to. Why don't I take this out? Yeah, I've got it. Nick, I can manage. I'll leave you to it. <laughs> Tess. It'll be a lot easier for you to talk about whatever you have to without me here.
you know you don't need to be here, right? It's okay, it's probably not even Nick's. He'd never let this happen. It's not always up to us. You think I planned to have Rose? Yeah, but you were 15, they're adults. Oh, and that means they can't have accidents. Look, Sally has been left in the lurch and she knows that Nick is reliable. Right, so she's lying. Look, I don't know her, but whenever you've mentioned her before, the word nice was used a lot. Come on, hey, hey, come on. That's just, come on. Come on, hey, hey. Just say the baby is Nick's. Look, plenty of marriages have children from other relationships. Look at Charlotte, it's no big deal. Of course not. Hey, we uh, just came to get some grain for the chooks. Yeah, they're um, looking really hungry. They don't get grain in the mornings. Well, we have to soak it first. And that takes two of you. Well, we also came to lend a hand. I mean, seeing Tess has a visitor and everything. Right, leave you to it then. Come on. Yeah, subtle, guys. Well, is the baby Nick's? I would say yes. Unless you're talking to Tess, in which case it's not until she's ready to face it and then it will be. Sorry, can you repeat that? Right now, just agree with whatever she says, OK? Are you sure? Accidents happen. I was just as surprised as you are. And if you're wondering why I didn't do anything about no, it... No, no. Why didn't you tell me? I just had to make a decision. If you want to have tests, I won't argue, but I'm telling you, you're the father. It isn't the way I imagined having a child either, Nick. But now it's happened. And I wouldn't change it for anything. Sally, Tess is my wife. I love her. You and I, we... It didn't turn out, I know. Okay, and a baby's not going to change that. You think that's why I'm here? No, no, I just want you to be clear about you and I and all this, okay? And I'm going to do the right thing by the child. I'm not okay? after money. You're the baby's father. You deserve to know each other. That's all I want. I don't get how it happened. Why wasn't Nick being careful? Well, who says he wasn't? <gasps> Maybe it was a for thoughts. A what? A for thoughts. A fling for old time's sake. Oh, I bet you never had one. Well, you break up with someone for a reason. Why would you get back with them? Well, it's not about getting back with them. Well, why sleep with them then? Well, the two aren't always connected. It would be for me. Maybe it was a fafots for Nick, but a fit wib for Sally. A fling to win him back. Oh, no, maybe it was a, a fit show moo, a fling to show him what he's missed out on. OK, you're just making That's him it. up now. Very funny. <laughs> ah, ah I've got a sheep now. Yeah, for a few days too, by the looks of it. Oh, well. I'll get rid of it since you paid me back for those beers. No, I didn't. Okay, then. Well, it's all yours. Next time, can you remind me to lie, please? I'm sorry. I know how you must be feeling. Well, maybe I don't. But if I were you, this is the last thing I'd want. If Nick doesn't want a part of this, that's his decision. But I had to give him the choice. What choice? There is no choice here. You just sprung this on him, on, on us. And me. How serious were you with him, Sally? I think that's our business. He is my husband. This is very much my business. I've ended up having his child and I would like him to be a part of that somehow. That's all. He's the first guy I've found I can imagine changing my life for. But hey, I'm drooling in front of you. <laughs> Think you'll ever do it? Have kids? Yeah. Well, I don't know, maybe. What about you? I always thought I would. Did you ever think about it? What, having kids? Yeah. Yeah, plenty of times. Because if anyone is gonna be the mother of your children, it's gonna be me. Oh. 
Well, I'd booked into a motel in town anyway. It's too far to drive in one day. We were just thinking, uh, probably should get a lawyer involved, get something on paper, make things official. And Sally's happy to have a paternity test, so... Right, I see. Okay. I'll drop you into town. I'll hit your lift back. I'll be fine. I'd rather know you got there okay, Sally. Thanks. I'll just, um, use the bathroom again. This doesn't change things between us, you have to know that. It's not fair. Tess, I want kids with you more than anything in this world. But it's different now. No, not really. No, it is, because it won't be your first child. You're, you're doing that with someone else. Uh... Sally! Your blood pressure's low, but that's not unusual at this stage of pregnancy. But combined with being dehydrated after the long drive, basically you've overdone it. So it's nothing serious? Keep your feet up, drink plenty of fluids, and you'll be fine. I wouldn't mind doing a more thorough checkup at the surgery tomorrow, just to be sure. She shouldn't drive herself in. I'll see you tomorrow. See ya. I'm staying in town anyway. You heard what the doctor said, you shouldn't drive. Well, you could stay here. I don't expect you to put me up. We don't expect you to make yourself sick either. Okay, just until we see the lawyer, I'll be fine to go home then. Okay. I'll get the spare room ready. Need a hand? Yes, thanks. Oh. What is it? I know, I think the baby just kicked. There. Feel him? So it's a boy? Yeah. I couldn't wait to find out. That's amazing. <laughs> oh. We found a dead sheep this morning and then noticed that these ones look pretty crook. Yeah, we checked the whole paddock. There's no noxious weeds and the water seems clean. Yeah, I'm going to take a sample to send away for testing. OK, well, uh, yard the sick ones then. And, oh, I was wondering if, uh, if you were all free to come to dinner tonight. We have a guest. Is Dave coming? No, Sally. She's actually staying for a few days, doctor's orders. Well, that's not so bad. You've got a lot to talk about. Yeah, good idea. No, it's terrible. The three of us sitting around talking about this mess all night. Well, but if the baby isn't mixed... It is, and there's no point pretending otherwise. So you can all come, yeah? Uh, yeah, you bet. No problem. Good. Hey, at least you know it wasn't Nick's fault. Well, how do you figure that? Well, you know, he's a careful sort of guy, and there's so many ways of avoiding accidents these yeah, days. Yeah, and none of them are foolproof, Kate. Let's go get that water sample, huh? Right. <laughs> Just wanted to be useful. I collected the eggs. I, I thought I'd make a start on lunch. You've obviously got something to say, so why don't you just say it? I had a kid on my own years ago. I never told the father. But I used to daydream about fronting him, you know, showing him our little girl. Thought I could somehow win him back that way. <laughs> Think dumb stuff like that when you're 15. Sometimes even when you're older. This has nothing to do with you. Well, Tess is a good friend, so I can't help but wonder why now? Why'd you take so long before showing up? I have my reasons. Well, they better be the right ones. See if you've got any ideas about wanting Nick back. How dare you? We're all thinking it. Someone just had to say it. Veggie Garden's this way, right? Aren't you meant to be taking it easy? I am. So, how about a frittata for lunch? You taught me the recipe, remember?
Tess, can we talk? You deserve an explanation. You don't have to explain. I do. I didn't know if I'd get this chance again to be a mother. I want this baby. But why come here? Why not just stay in Melbourne and be a mum? I thought I could do it by myself. And then I started thinking about when he got older and he saw other kids with their dads and he asked where his was. And I realised it wasn't fair to him or Nick. But why did you leave it so late? I mean, what if Nick wants to walk away from all this? You think that's what he'll want? We both know it's not. Well, nice to hear the word from the family solicitor. Yeah, well, it was a shock to me too. Look, I know Sally's a nice girl, but you can't just take her word for it. I don't think this family can handle something like that again. Test will be done, Dad. Guess she wants money, eh? No, no. It's under control. All right. So, it's a boy. Well, congratulations. Yeah. Good on you, Dad. Not quite the way I'd expected to welcome my first grandchild, but hey, Ryan's a Ryan. Yeah. Hey, Bluey. How's Tess taking it? How do you think? Look, whatever it is, I don't need to hear it, OK? I was just going to say, you poor bastard. But I did tell you. What's that? To pull your finger out with Tess. If you got your act together sooner, mate. Yeah, well, it wasn't always my fault, was it? I know what I did was a really awful thing to do. Tess, we were about to make love. You ran away. I hope you're still not pissed off about Tess. Because if you are, you should have moved fast. I have a small announcement. At least Tess and I do. Shame we let the champagne go to waste. She finally agreed to marry me. Why? You know what they say. Manure happens. Is my life destined to be one big cosmic stuff-up? Did I kill someone in a previous existence? Yeah, that must be it. Things happen in your life for a reason, to teach you something. And what's the lesson here? Marry a virgin? If only Nick hadn't started seeing Sally again. If only we hadn't have had that big fight that made him go back to her. If only your parents hadn't met. If only you hadn't been born. If only Dave hadn't have come back when he did. Looks like I'm the knight in shining armour coming to rescue you. How easy do you think it is for me to sit back and watch you with him? Nick? Oh. I heard you had some sick sheep. So what's happening now, Nick? I'm going to do the right thing. I'm going to make sure Sally and the kid are taken care of. I'm not talking about money, mate. I'm talking about being a dad. How's that going to work? It's not, obviously. Why? What do you think that'll do to Tess? Well, it won't be easy, sure. What about you? You're going to have a son in a few weeks. You can't just turn your back on him. Do I have a choice? Where the hell have you been for the last two years, huh? Finding out Harry wasn't my real father nearly killed me. You want to do that to your own son? I should be having this kid with Tess. How can I put her through seeing me do it with someone else? It's a big mistake, Nick. None of this is going to be easy, Alex. I didn't want the kid in the first place. You don't deserve it. You know, you should have thought about that before you slept with Sally in the first place. Spot out. The only reason this is happening to me and not you is pure bloody luck. Back with the test results tomorrow, okay? Thanks. Have you noticed any ryegrass or bracken fern around? I can bring on the staggers. Like, uh, well, like pregnant ex girlfriends. Sorry? Oh, come on, it's not that bad. Sure, it happens to you all the time. Hey, us brewers invented the word dysfunctional. When mum and dad split up after having me, dad ran off with mum's stepmother. 
and they had a kid who's my half-brother, but also my uncle, even though he's younger than me. Really? Well, perhaps I exaggerated here and there, but uh, Christmas dinner can be a bit tense. Oh, come on, Tess. It's going to be OK. Just be glad you're not a brewer. I just want my life back the way it was. Tess, you love Nick, and he loves you. So it still is, right? Hey, Dave. You bastard. Oh, thanks, mate. That's that's really helpful. I always knew there was something wrong about you and Tess getting together. That's because it meant you missed out. I even apologised for, for, for telling Tess about you and Sally. I was right all along. I think what you like, Brewer. Hey, Dave. It's getting pretty late. Thought you might want to stay for dinner. He was just leaving. Thanks anyway. Sure. Any time. and everything. I know. <sighs> Turbo, this is getting very, very strange. <laughs> so, Dave's got no idea what's wrong with the sheep. Uh, I've been reading up. It could be polio, but they're not blind, or listeriosis, but there haven't been any spontaneous abortions of fetuses, so... Uh, Nick, what are your plans for the Colonel? I take it that's an animal? Yeah, he's a prize organic ram. Actually, I wanted to ask your opinion on flushing. Every time he goes, hopefully. It's where you increase the feed to the ewes a few weeks before joining. It's been proven to produce more multiple births, so you don't have to rely on artificial insemination. I'm just going to go do some book stuff. Yeah, I'll help you. Bye. Evening, ladies. Nick. Sally, how are you? Good to see you, Alex. Yeah, you too. Congratulations. Thanks. Hey, Sally, if you're still hungry, we've got plenty more buns in the oven. Stop rubbing it in. <laughs> what about this one? This meal? It's just something I knocked up. Do you think I'm going to say the wrong thing for the rest of my life? I don't want to labour the point, but yeah, probably. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Is Luke in a bad way or what? Oh, that boy needs a cold shower. Ugh. You know, you should do what you do best. Write a list. Things not to talk to Sally about. Thank you. Big help. Mm. All right, I'll leave you to it, Squirt. I've got to reply to Luke before he... Never mind. Catch up. All right. Oh, by the way, your performance tonight deserved a standing ovulation. Very funny. Yeah. What's this, a peace offering? Yeah, well, I figured I should be doing the brotherly thing. Yeah. What's that? Getting me drunk? Yeah, if the hangover's bad enough, you won't be able to think about anything else. Look on the bright side, Nick. At least you know there's tadpoles in your stream. <laughs> hey. Nick suddenly has this whole other life that I'm not a part of. A life that we were going to have together. If you'd known about the baby before, would you have married him? Yes. So what's the difference? Well, then I would have known it was a part of the deal, but when it's just sprung on you... It'd be like I was betraying Tess if I have anything to do with this kid. You reckon you can just stay away, though? <sighs> I felt him move. My son, mate. Can't even believe I'm saying those words. But if you stay away for Tess's sake? He'll end up hating me. I can't ask him to do that. I won't. Then you'll have to live with him being a father. And what if I can't? She's going to hate me either way.
Miss McLeod, you are the most beautiful, amazing, infuriating, passionate woman I've ever met. I'm sorry, Tess. I'm so sorry. The boot fits, so do we. Four o'clock, your place. Any ideas? I thought maybe it was Alex making up for a fight we had. It's a bit OTT. Yeah, especially for Alex. Well, whoever it is, you should call the police. And tell them what? It's not a crime leaving presents. Yeah, especially when they're this good. Get your own gift-bearing stalker. Oh, excuse me, I'm talking from experience here. You give them the slightest bit of encouragement, you'll never get rid of them. Kate, it's OK. I can look after myself. Well, you won't have to, because we'll be there too. And I don't want to hear any arguments. We're going to do it anyway, right? Right. Well, if I kick in the ghoulies, I won't get rid of him. Five-minute lecture from Kate should do the trick. I found this fox in the same paddock as the six sheep, and now more of the sheep are down too. Well, foxes only eat meat, so it can't be a weed killing the sheep. Yeah, I know. It's something else, something weird. Well, should we move them? No, if it's a disease, we'll only end up spreading it. Maybe Dave will have some ideas. It'll be the water. I well, haven't got the test results back. Yeah, but weren't they all sick? OK, so we've got a dead fox, dead sheep, dead birds. But who says they've got anything to do with this? Yeah, but there's more around than usual, so maybe they do. So, the foxes eat meat, the sheep eat grass, the birds eat seeds, the foxes eat birds and sheep. Yeah, but sheep don't eat birds or foxes. Well, I'm going to go chase up that water sample. I mean, don't these people realise I'm losing stock? <laughs> Despite your claims to the contrary, you're in love with Nick. But we're together now, him and me. Yeah, I know that. And you can't have that. Out chicken stock. Nick said you had a mob sick. Yeah, still waiting on test results. Everything all right? Yeah, Dave was just passing by. We need to discuss those soil samples. Yeah, okay. I'll uh, see you later then. You think it over, won't you? It's very generous of you, Harry. Thanks. What is? Dad just asked Sally if she wants to stay at Kalani after the baby's born, but I'm sure she's already made plans at home. I've looked into hiring a nanny. Well, why pay for help if you don't have to? Look, I know this is awkward, but uh, it is a Ryan baby after all. We look after our own. OK, why don't we let Sally think about it, eh? We're going to talk about those sorts of Thanks for the teddy bear, Harry. Just, just back off, would you? It's hard enough without you making things worse. Nick, I make no apology for wanting to look after my grandson. Dad, he's being looked after. You know, one day you'll thank me for making sure you got to know your own son. She's not really going to stay at Kalani, is she? If she really wants to, there's nothing I can do about it. Look, Harry did this on purpose, asking me in front of her so I couldn't say anything. I'm sorry, this is my fault. I'll, I'll tell him no. And like I said, I've arranged a nanny. It's fine. If that's what you really want. Kalani's a bad idea. I need my independence anyway. I need to work. Sure. But maybe somewhere in the area might be OK. It'd be easier for you to see your son. I'm sorry, but, um... This is all getting a little... too much for me. Pardon? 
You both want to play happy families. Well, that's, that's fine. You just keep me out of it. Sally, you are not some misguided teenager. You knew what you were doing like you do now. All this, this fainting, having to stay here, getting in with Harry. I mean, give me a break. Yes, come on. Look at her, Nick. She still loves you. She always has. Oscar, blame Sally for everything. Good move. <laughs> Yet one question, one question only. Have I missed my chance? We were meant to be together, but we're not. If you can't make up your mind, it's obviously not. Let's do it now, you and me. Do what? Come home with me. Live with me. Let's get your stuff and go, right now. Now? Right now. Take it or leave it. Nick, I would, but I can't. There's always a reason to hide, isn't there? <sighs> what do birds, sheep and foxes eat? Sheep eat grass. Foxes eat meat, birds eat... Birds eat seed and grain. And grain. Sacks of grain. You said it smelt mouldy, right? But it wasn't damp. Bill! Oh. Mice. Oh. Dead mice. <sighs> yep, I should have realised. It's botulism. Right, and so the birds must have eaten the grain and that's what killed them. Uh-huh. And the fox probably ate a sheep that had eaten the grain. Yeah, well now we're going to have to clean the whole silo out. Oh, Stevie, that's going to take ages. No, it's good. I need to keep busy right now. <sighs> Sal, please. You don't have to go. I do. You and Tess need time to work this out. I'm not going to upset your marriage any more than I already have. We can sit down with the lawyers later. At least let me drive you. I got a clean bill of health from the doctor. I'll be fine. I'll take it slowly. Plenty of stops, I promise. So call me so I know you got home OK. I'll be in touch. Drive carefully. See ya. The answer was right in front of me the whole time. I just couldn't see it. Well, it made sense the problem was in the paddock, not here, so... The lesson I've learned from today is oh, that... Oh, you're as bad as Tess. Everything happening for a reason. That's true, it does. Ah! Oh, ah! I'm going to be all right, aren't I? I won't let anything happen to you. Ah! No! 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 <clears throat> Can you hear me? Can you hear me? No, don't you do this to me! Don't you do this to me! Ted! Is that okay? Bring us up. I got you. I know. Hello, girls. I have to go find Sally. In a bit of hurry. I just passed her on the driveway heading off. Okay. Well, now you girls must be psychic. I was just coming to check your grain. Sheep have got botulism bot from dead mice. We know already. Thanks anyway. Ah, <laughs> uh, Stevie, it's almost four. Actually, we should take Dave with us just in case. Well, nothing's been touched. And there's no one in there. Well, I say we camp out till the creep rears his ugly head. Well, this is ugly. Oh, no, guys, you don't have to say it's okay. Yeah, no, 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 we insist. Besides, it's good for the rep. <clears throat> hey, listen, while you're up, would you mind uh, banging the kettle on? Mm -hmm. Dave. I can get cheap CD. Dave! Where is he? No, he's a no-show. Come on, let's go. You sure? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You'd be doing me a favour. Yeah. <gasps> <gasps> 
thought they'd never leave. Oh. Ah, bastard. Oh. So, this is it, huh? Going back to Melbourne? Looks like it. Sally. Uh, I don't want to cut Nick out of his son's life. I'd never do that to him. I know. Look, this is just, it's a, it's a lot for me to get my head around at the moment and I want to bit nuts. Why don't I, I cook dinner for the three of us and we can sit down and talk about this, this quietly, calmly, like, like grown-ups? I don't know. Please come back. Have you spoken to Nick? Well, he'll understand. Okay. You go ahead, I know you've got things to do. And Tess, you really don't have anything to worry about. Nick loves you. Consider yourself lucky. It was either that or a five minute lecture from Kate. I suppose I should be thankful then. What's going on? Why they're sneaking around in the notes? Well, I wasn't sure exactly how thrilled you'd be to see me. Oh, wait, I took off and everything. So the, um, the boots, the beer, you meant to sweeten me up then? No, oh, they look great, by the way. Who do you think you are? You can't just waltz in here buy me presents. And that makes everything OK? Well, I didn't think it was a waltz. It's more of a cha-cha. You know I've got two left feet. We are going to buy a farm together, Kane. Start a new life. Instead, you do a runner and y you leave me high and dry. Look, I, um, I didn't know if I could last going straight, Stevie, and I wasn't going to wreck my only chance with you. You did that when you walked out on me. I had to prove to myself that I could do it. You know, and I have. Honestly, I have. The, the last few months I've been, you know, I've been a regular guy. I've been clocking on, I've been working hard. The only thing missing is a suit. Tell someone who cares. Oh, come on, Stevie. I know. Everyone thought I'd end up getting us both in strife. I don't care what everyone else thinks. Why didn't you just tell me? And what would you have said? Honestly, what, what would you have said? Oh, it's all right, Kane. We'll be OK. Well, I had to be sure it would be OK. You had no right to stump on me like that. That wasn't so bad, was it? Don't push it. Hey. I missed you so much. I missed you too. Nice to meet you at last. Me too. I didn't know Alex had a brother. <gasps> you know, when you knock on a door, you should really wait at least half a second to see if someone answers it. They take you back. Sorry. They take you there. Oh my god. Please, quick, and I need the bit. Look at the bit where the leech is, okay? Oh, I think Almost as big as the one on your bum. No! What? <laughs> Man, I had this dance. Thought you'd never ask. You can't go back. Oh, you can't go back. I shouldn't have hesitated when Dave came back. 
I stuffed up. I'm sorry. It's taken me so long to say this, but I love you. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. No. Oh. Teresa, Charlotte, McLeod, will you marry me? We did have all the bits after all. I just had to try harder. Everything fits, Tess. We've just got to make it work. You said everything would be all right, but I didn't believe you. If I can't trust our marriage to survive this, then what hope have we got? We can make this work, can't we? Of course we can. Trust me, I love you so much. I know, I love you too. Go back.